So immediately something is emerging, like a special space. So I have, I have very big ears, you know. <laughs> they compare me with BFG, you know BFG? They said this is the this is you. <laughs> Welcome in my studio, Klangwerk. In a compound of very different buildings and it has a quite old history. So it's been a so-called castle of a, of a duke or something next to the Lake of Constance. So it's, from the nature it's a, it's a beautiful place. We have the lake on one side, on the other side we have the woods and we have a little um, river and we have um, a community, a group of people that wanted to to create an open spiritual community. So we developed this, we we founded a shareholder co company and and succeeded to, to buy this this thing. We invented our being together in here. So this was all new. We were free to invent our own structures, our own rules, our own way of communicating with each other. So if I say communicating, this is one a very essential aspect because we are a lot of we're dealing a lot about communication. So how to deepen or how to communication or how to becoming uh, more and more authentic in our yeah, how we express, how we meet each other, how we communicate. The work I'm doing on the, this musical level is a lot about communication, a lot about dialogue, a lot about sensing, receiving, giving, receiving. So it's a lot about this. This, yeah. I was living on the other side of the lake of, of Constance, and I I heard about a violin builder who was like existing there, and I asked him to yeah just to step in and and, and be trained by him. And he disappointed us and said, I, I, will, I won't do anything traditional at all anymore. Because I, I don't like to just people repeating the old stuff, but I like people to, to, to um, get into this state to, under, to more deeply understand about, uh, get an understanding about sound. What is sound? How does sound relate to, to material, to physical stuff, how does it develop and what sound does our, like, um, our present cultural situation needs? Is it really the violin or is it really the flute or the old clarinet or the classical music or something? What, what do we need in the moment or in the future? So his idea was that out of a deeper understanding of, of sound or deeper listening into sound, would enable people to, to create new things. So the, the, the family of instruments I'm calling Wave Rider. Wellenreiter. Mm, it's like a developed monochord, so called, with different fields of, of tones. So like you have mm -hmm. like six tones on this one. And I have ones with four tones or seven tones, three tones. So it, it differs. And also the size differs. This one. So the bigger it is, the deeper the tone. Mm -hmm. I developed a lot of instruments there really um, like supporting a lot this this also this human dialogue this personal dialogue like the heart bridge so this is the heart bridge I call it heart bridge or sound bridge but heart bridge I think is the the right name for it and it's just connecting two people um, with each other in a very simple non-verbal way I'm just half half of the heart bridge, let's say. So this heart bridge is connecting me with you, with your hearts, let's say, my heart with your heart. And um, it's very simple. Each of us has a mallet 
and we can do anything we want. Something unpredictable is coming out of this dialogue, just being in front of each other. <laughs> That's it already. <laughs> so as you see, um, within seconds, something totally different is like uh, entering the space. Like um, there is joy coming coming up. There's like a childish joy coming up. There's um, I don't know playfulness, whatever. So this is the very simple pr uh, principle, like hanging a sound bridge or a heart bridge between our necks, neck, necks, and um, being, being receptive of what is uh, um, emerging out of this. And my idea was to, to make like a, like a project, um, a campaign, let's say, that I was, would, would play with somebody and I would make a YouTube video out of it. And then I would play with another one and more and more it would be like also public persons that are politicians or whatever. So um, people that are really um, normally not into this media. <laughs> they are very, very complicated media, very verbal and so very serious people. And I would, I would like to seduce them to play this with me and make a YouTube video out of it. And in the, in the second step, I would like to seduce like... Um, let's say, political enemies to play with each other, like in a non-verbal way. Because it's, if it's, my idea was, if it's getting more and more popular, this, this playing a sound or heart bridge, it would be attractive for politicians to do this. Like Obama with, I don't know, Ching Hung Joy or, or with the underground, like terrorist or whatever. So it would be popular to do this together. And it would like, this was, would really be a, um, a, a really nice way to, 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 to spread peace among people. So this was my project idea. If I'm alone, <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue is, um, of course, different um, from, from the situation I'm, I'm, I'm playing with other people. So. So always this wave is coming, like saying, okay, Rüdiger, how are you? Who are you? And I say, I'm here. I want to play with you. I say, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I say, I have to wait. I love your son. to play with you. And it says, oh, I give you the total secure frame for it. Just jump into it. I hold you. And the more I'm, the more I'm melting into this process, the more I feel what I'm doing with my hand is I'm, I'm singing. It feels as if I'm singing. So I, I just had the moment that I could have started with singing as well. <laughs> this is um, uh, a boat string instrument <laughs> and I call it fairy hair. <laughs> um, and this is like my pocket fairy hair. So you can take it to your pocket and easily transport it to anywhere in the world.
we don't have any time anymore to to rush. So this I like very much. And um, the simplicity of, of tones or sounds help me to be present, to be really to to sense the the very now, the very moment, and to be really connected with myself and connected at all, like with the spiritual, let's say. Like this is diatonic, this is pentatonic. emerged out of a very deep, let's say, emotional um, session with a, with a guy that I like very much, sort of teacher of mine. And um, suddenly I said the words, hört auf, so this is German, hört auf. And this is like, this has a double meaning. And if you say hört auf, first it means stop it. But this is not the precise translation, because hört means listen, and hört auf means like open your ears and hold, hold on for a moment, and and um, become present of what is really going on at the moment. This is my chance in every moment by saying hört auf or hör auf to, um, to, um, to get reconnected to what is really going on, to re get reconnected to my deep being, to the spiritual, whatever, mm -hmm. or to the others, or to nature. So first this hört auf, like, okay, and then. And the other thing comes from itself, so I don't have to work on inspiration or I have to work on how to, uh, how to create a melody or something. I just, I'm just open for it and it flows through, through myself and my doing. So this is not something I have to put too much attention, it's just, it's mainly the opening. Or like, it's mainly the, so that's why it's really meditation, it's really mainly to become in this zero state zero state or this reset state again and then out of this everything can happen. How much can I feel what I play? So how, how, how intimate is this connection between what I'm feeling and what I'm doing? So my ideal state is like I don't even do. I'm just, I'm just guided. I just, it, it, it does, it does, and I feel it. So, so I'm more. My, my, my attention goes more on uh, being connected to the sound or what, what is, what is emerging, emerging out of my play. I'm a lot holding back because I see the space doesn't need more in the moment. But then, okay, now it's emptying again. The space is emptying again. Okay, so it can contain or can receive something else. But it's always this fight between these poles a little bit. So if you say, what, what element are you? I would say, your first word, say, I'm water. 
So this is really, but immediately I feel, okay, but it's also the wind, like touching the water, yeah? So something like this. So I'm also like flying above the water or something. So I'm not in the water, but I'm on the surface or this meeting point of water and air. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the light reflecting, yeah? It's a lot of reflecting light as well. So this gives this, this brilliance of sound. And fortunately, there's this really, this hard material, this solid material of the wood and the, the metal, so that gives me this aspect of earth. Mm -hmm. So it's, everything is present in that. So normally, like um, I offer it for starting with 10 minutes or 7 to 10 minutes up to 20, 30 minutes. Mm. So then you can really go on to a journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, already? <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 <laughs>